Now, the overwhelming majority of the population believes that the Ukrainian army is this close to defeating the Russian army. And, you know, again, I think it's totally fair to root for the Ukrainian army. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm sorry that Russia invaded Ukraine. I'm not taking the Russian position on this. I'm merely saying that the fact of what is actually happening, not what we wish would happen, but what is happening, is essential if we want to make up our minds about what to do next. And in the United States, virtually everyone I've ever met believes that Ukraine is winning. Now, if you think about this for a moment, here you have one country which has a hundred million more people than the other country and has much deeper military industrial capacity, can make more missiles, make more bullets, make more tanks than the other country. So over time, the bigger country is almost certain to win, correct? This is a physics principle. Right. It's not a statement of allegiance. You're not a shill for somebody for acknowledging that. If we're wrestling and you outweigh me by 100 pounds, you're probably going to win because you're bigger. That's a fact. And yet my country, a nation of 350 million people, has been told exactly the opposite for a year and a half for ideological reasons, as a function of propaganda. It is lying. And the scary thing is that otherwise very smart people believe it, even though you can still, and this may change, go on Wikipedia in the United States and look up population numbers. How many people live in Russia? How many people live in Ukraine? Oh, one outweighs the under, other by 100 million people. That's probably going to win. Maybe we should force a peace or whatever or adjust our expectations accordingly. But no. And it's funny, I showed up here in Budapest a couple of days ago and I've talked to a bunch of different people and eaten like maybe 27 different meals. Gain a lot of weight in your country, I gotta be honest, that's not a criticism, just a fact. And I've asked every person, do you, you know, back where I come from, the most informed, the most technologically superior nation in the history of man, the only country to put a human being on the surface of the moon. In that country, everybody believes that Ukraine is one F-16 away from beating Russia on the field of battle. And every single Hungarian, most of them are anti-Russian, by the way. I haven't met anyone in Hungary who likes the Russians, just being honest. They don't like the Russians. But everyone has looked at me like I'm insane. What? No. No. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to be from a place that has been lied to at scale and believe the lies so thoroughly. But the truth is, that's kind of the state of man.